Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So today we're covering the new compound physics operator inside of Typhlow, which makes it much easier to create something like dynamic chains. I would like to thank Autodesk for sponsoring this video, and let's jump right into it. So if we just make a regular torus, this is an interesting object because it is one object, but it's concave, meaning it basically has a hole. So if I raise this up and I make a box right here, and we make Typhlow, birth objects, pick the torus. We want to turn it into a physics shape. So automatically it will fall down and collide with the floor. And we need to add a physics collision and add this box as a collider. It should fall right through. But as you see what happens, the torus actually collides with the box, even though there's a hole inside of it. As soon as you convert this torus into a physics shape, Typhlo only sees it as a convex geometry, meaning it ignores the hole inside of it. But what you can now do is just go under hull mode and change this to compound. So this is the compound physics edition. And you can say display hull. So basically what's happening is there are a bunch of little spheres born on the surface of the main torus and these control the collisions. So now the torus can fall through and still collide with the floor. So just to test this further, I can add another box here, add it to my colliders. And now as you can see, the torus will fall through but still collide over here. Now there are some intersections going on. So that's why we have these settings here under the physics shape. We can control the size of the voxels or the spheres. So I can change this to maybe just two centimeters and I'm gonna get a lot more collision spheres created on the surface of this object. So already I'm getting rid of those intersections that I was getting before. I can raise the maximum voxel amount to let's say 2000 to make sure that it's not getting cut off. And what you can also do is change this from spheres to voxels. So here you can say from voxels and it'll just generate, if I turn off the display, this is what Typhlo sees. This is what actually collides are these voxels, right? So you can also reduce their size to maybe just one centimeter you'll get a lot more of them and you can change it back to spheres as well, right? So up until this was introduced, creating something like this was actually quite complicated. You had to split the object and then connect it back together to get it to collide in this way. But the compound mode solves that for us, right? So if I just switch back to my original chain example and I zoom in and I enabled the show hull, you can see all of the little spheres that I created on the surface of the chain links, which allows them to collide uh, and not break. Now, sometimes they can sort of explode on the first frame. So just make sure that you scroll all the way down and you check ignore start penetrations so that on that first frame, they will not just sort of explode, but remain stuck together. And now I can just run the simulation forward and you can see that they're beautifully staying connected. There's no breaking going on. Again, this was difficult to do until the compound um, physics mode was introduced. So I can turn off the display hall and this is what you get. It works like a charm. Now, if you do run into any issues, just make sure that you raise the time step. So I'm doing half a step. You can do one fourth um, frame to increase the accuracy of this. I also added a slow operator just to you know slow down the channel a bit after it settles into place. Now, as far as the thumbnail, I just added some nicer materials straight from the V-Ray material library. So I think I just went under concrete and just selected this for the wall. And for the chain links themselves, I'm just using this weathered metal material. And then I just added a bunch of lights. Um, one of them is blue, one of them is pink, one of them is white. So just a very quick tutorial, just wanted to show you how this works. As always, if you found this helpful, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.